That is silver medal for my world's the world championships. That was in Guangzhou, China. And it's in here. <laughs> my dad stole this was in the building. All this cedar trim was around all the walls. I gave a bunch of it to my brother. Um, he's going to put it into his house. And I kept some pieces. My sister has some pieces. My dad's old desk that was in the business. Um, yeah, and I have stuff in other people's properties. That, heck, that's copper that was in the building too. There was a piece of property that I was raised in in Great Falls, Montana. That was my dad's business. When my dad passed away, I ended up selling the property and they were gonna demolish the building of 60 by 120 square feet to build a car wash. And I just couldn't see that happening when it was a perfectly good steel building. I wanted the building, so I said, I'll just disassemble it myself. And I started uh, May 7th, two years ago, and I just walked in the door with tools and a skid loader, and I literally took off window trim, door trim. My whole motivation behind that was so I could repurpose the steel frame of it. Since have transported that same building up to where I live, outside of Augusta, Montana, and my vision for that now is to re-erect that square footage in honor of my dad and what I learned through so much through the sport is him being not only my dad but our wrestling coach to my brother and I and so many other wrestlers but to kind of gift that same thing he did to us on a daily basis I would teach wrestling practice essentially the principles of the sport that really go hand in hand with life I feel confident with not just myself and the impact but the recruiting I can do to bring people here to impact everybody as well through motivational speaking. We've been coming up here since we were kids. Uh, my dad was raised up here too. The, the mountain areas that are, are known up here, the landmarks, benchmarks, one of them. And with that said, it's also a standard. You know, dad was just kind of a huge pillar in our household. You know, we learned kind of work ethic and seeing our dad out in his element going to this building. And, and one thing my brother and I both did growing up is every day after school, we went to that building, got dropped off, and we had a, a, a gym rope in the back in the, and we had to climb that rope, you know, 20 times every day after school. In a small community like this, you have a building, there's a lot of use, multi-purpose to it. Talking with one of the parents in town, the students, they had told me after school in Augusta, when they have to travel for sport, they have to wait for the bus and the school shuts out and nobody's allowed back in the school just for safety reasons. Well, these kids have to burn like an hour to an hour and a half sometimes and have nowhere to go. And a lot of times local moms bring the whole team over to the house to waste time until, you know, the bus comes. So hearing that story, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for me and the, the project at hand because I can make a space within the facility for the kids after school to come in that's safe, lounge, and burn off that hour, hour and a half, study, what have you. So right here is kind of essentially the wrestling mats, workout equipment. They're all, that's gonna change too, that layout, but Right here is kind of a lounge kitchen area. And just to make it more realistic, they put some chairs in there. Um, this is it at the ground level. So this would be a perfect spot, you know, if we can figure out affording this loft area, that way we could put some couches and lounging up there. And that's a perfect spot for kids to come in and hang out after school. I have a local lady um, that wants to bring in a, a hydro works. It's an aquatic pool that people elderly use it a lot for physical therapy. The high school kids that want to better themselves are all the rodeo kids that are training. They can come in and get workouts in. My fundraising levels here will be acknowledged on this pillar as I zoom in here in the building. So my, my benchmark level gold, silver, bronze, 
will all be on this building here and that's how they will be recognized of levels of donation. I've purchased land and to this point has all been funded through myself. I'm asking the community, uh, my family, my friends to get behind this project and in support financially in any way, shape or form you can do to help these wheels keep in motion. On the construction, it's, it's kind of unpredictable. The permitting, the approvals, once that's done, it's essentially getting a shovel in the ground and then make sure I have the finances to go. I would like to break ground in the next few months. This building I put up because I have supplies from tearing down the building. I have five different people's properties so I can actually get everything located here when we start renting equipment. So we're a ways off the road here, but my building, if we pull in here, it'll be kind of sitting right about there is how I've projected on our, on our site plan. What better way to turn my dad's building into a wrestling club that he would just roll over 50 times in his grave and probably do 10 push-ups. So it's, that, that's the exciting part to honor him, but also the impact it's gonna have in this community where we don't have any of that. I'm gonna hopefully have a, an avenue to where kids can go, where older people can go, and impact their, their life 